Hello all, welcome to another episode from Learn Max Technical Bytes. Now this time, what I'm going to say is, when you are working in Windows, sometimes you see you know people looking around, peeping around. What work you keep doing? You want to hide it all. You want to put all the windows that you have opened suddenly to the taskbar. What you do? You start confusing. So that is what we are going to resolve. How to minimize all the windows in one click. This is applicable for both Windows 7 and Windows 10. This is part one. And in the next one, we are going to create two desktops within one PC. I think this is very much possible and it's going to surprise you and you are going to enjoy the session. Are you ready to go to the desktop? Yes, now we are going to the desktop. Here we are in our desktop. In this desktop, now I am going to open up my favorite microsoft edge i have opened up and this is my company infinifine okay i have opened maybe i'll try to google another web page to show you you know and I'm, I'm just googling now within bing uh, so you can see this is google website okay, i'm clicking it up as well and now i'm opening a text pad i'm going to type something i'm going to type something and now when you are in half of the work and now suddenly someone peeps in and you want to hide so then what you are going to do is you are going to minimize all the windows so it's not possible see you have windows opened up some explorer you try to click this and then you click this and then you click this it gets you know annoying so what we are going to do we are going to we are going to see how to minimize it at one stroke okay now let me show you how to minimize it now have focus in this area you know i just see in this area i'm clicking it up you can see in this area now you just go to this corner and click one click everything goes off another click everything comes back so the easiest way to remember this key shortcut key is what we are trying to do we are trying to minimize all windows so the shortcut key is going to be win logo key we are going to use win logo key and then i am going to press uh, m together win logos m means windows minimize and how do you get it back windows shift and m windows shift and m so when i do that you can see all the windows comes back so now this is the easiest thing you have got to remember and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to move on to the next part of this video now here are you all ready to get to know how to create a virtual Yes, we are going to create a virtual desktop now uh, for which uh, you have to press few shortcut keys. Okay, the shortcut key is going to be Windows. I'm sorry, I have pressed it wrongly. Uh, for the moment you press Windows, you know, it pops up. That's the start menu. That's the default. And I press Windows along with this. I press Control. Keep holding. And then you press P. E. You can see this is another desktop. You can clearly see this is completely a new virtual desktop which is there maybe you can see in the screen or if you're not seeing the screen i uh, i can ensure that that is definitely a desktop open to confirm it how to go back to the original desktop in this desktop you can see there is no text pad which i opened earlier there is nothing so it is a fresh new desktop so people around you will think you are in a fresh place maybe you can uh, maybe let me open to another project which is coming up is about the supple project as i said earlier i'm going i'm working on this this is the supple project okay and let me minimize or close this window or uh, let me open up another browser my favorite browser every time so i'm opening up my browser this is mathematics for immersive online you can always join learn my students okay so in this browser now i just leave it here and i go to the original desktop for which i'm pressing win tab when I do win tab, you can see there are two desktops opened up. I go to the desktop number one and you can see my notepad which I opened earlier. You can see my web browser open earlier and you can see what not. You can see, okay, you can see, you can create a desktop. And the beauty is you can right click and rename. You can rename. So that's the possibility is very high. And to navigate between this also, there are some shortcut keys. I think you are looking at the shortcut key now this is the shortcut key okay you can see the uh, shortcut key this is win logo uh, control d 
meaning you want windows and controlling it when you are desktop win control d and when you move between uh, win control d and the arrow keys you can always move between this desktop and that that desktop if not you can always use win logo and tab for everything the win logo is the key i hope you enjoyed this particular video and more videos technical bytes are coming up and i have some special points about mouse some special keys about mouse and more tvs are coming up that is technical bytes are coming up i wish you had always enjoyed the session and thank you all